This is new at five, a 17 year old returning to Atlanta, a hero tonight after saving the life of someone he just met on vacation. Awesome story here. Caitlin Ross joining us now in studio as she explains how this rising high school junior, Caitlin, stayed calm and got the young woman and himself back to safety. It's really incredible. Adam and Jillian had just met near Rosemary Beach when they decided to swim out to the sandbar. They both told me they're strong swimmers and the water was calm. They didn't think it was going to be a problem, but it wasn't too long before Jillian realized she was in trouble. In a picture taken just hours after the rescue, Jillian and Adam look like they've known each other their whole lives. He is the sweetest, nicest boy I've ever met. He, I mean, he took care of me like he was my best friend. 20-year-old Jillian is from West Virginia. Adam Harvey is from Atlanta. They met for the first time Friday on the beach when they decided to swim out to the sandbar. That whole time, even when the people were helping me, I was like, that boy saved me. That boy saved me. I, I, I wouldn't even be on this beach hyperventilating right now if he wasn't with me. Jillian says they talked most of the way out to the sandbar, but when they were almost there, she started struggling to breathe. My body felt like it was giving up because I just was out of it. My, I couldn't, my legs were like getting weaker. My arms were getting weaker and I start panicking. Adam realized right away how serious it was. She started saying, I like we weren't going to make it back in. And now she was like, she's scared to die. He says he grabbed her hand and told her to breathe slowly. I was a little scared, but I knew if I showed it, it would just make everything worse. She would be more terrified. Jillian says she was terrified. I start having a panic attack and I'm like, Adam, I, I can't make it. I'm not, I'm, I literally said to him, like, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. And he's like, no, no, you're fine. And your nose out your mouth and your nose out your mouth. Here, I'll help you. Jillian says she's so thankful she met Adam that day because she might have gone out to that sandbar by herself. I was more worried about sharks, not me drowning, you know? Like, I wasn't at all stressed about not being able to swim because I'm a, a pretty decent swimmer. Adam's on his way home to Atlanta with his family right now. I caught up with when they were actually driving home. He and Jillian were texting each other in the car. They both say after such a crazy experience, they definitely plan to stay in touch. That's an incredible story. So glad he was there to help her through, Caitlin. Thank you so much.